Greetings, this is Garth RSD Tireless Adventurer, my microphone is not muted. <laughs> when last we left, we had a crazy, stinking, super epic migration wave of a bazillion, which took us up to 54. So, pow, let's cruise through here and have ourselves a look see at the lucky peoples. We have uh, a Garth RS, a Nargus, uh, Alan Bob, Della130. Mason Smith, who is also a Mason and a Smith, but it says Trapper, but trust me, he's a Mason and a Smith. Uh, then we have Grim, Uncle Dan, uh, Turbo Wars, Dwarf, what do I feel like I'm missing somebody? There's one more, and I know I put him in there. Alright, let's fix it. He should be down here. Right there. Gas lover. That funky. There wasn't like a, a strong engraver came in, so I just gave you Lara Mimush. Did I not? I committed those changes. Which is named Lara Mimush. Lara Mimush. Oh, maybe it's... Be Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's, oh, maybe, maybe it's because, no. Lara Mimush, where are you at, gas lover? Where are you at, gas? Where are you? I cannot find you. Okay, anyway, uh, we'll locate this guy. Where is he? What does he do? He does nothing. Oh, he's a siege engineer. <laughs> what else is he? Gas lover is nothing except for, he's a siege engineer. What about social? Nope, you have no social skills, gas lover. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we'll find you soon enough. You shifty dwarf, you. Maybe you're not on the map yet. That could be why. Okay. So, we hit escape. And then we go to F1, which is up top. And then we hit... And then we hit space bar, which will unpause us. We're like, oh my god, the first thing we have to do is set up a military because there's so many people losing. 54... Are you kidding for real? All right, so let's go down here and put the B and the T. Actually, no, and capital T and the L, and we're gonna go down one more, and we're gonna and one more, and we're gonna put the uh, the switch. Oh, that was fun. Okay, now that we're done doing that, I'm gonna put the switch right here. Boop, boop. And then we're going to link it up to the bridge upstairs. But the first thing we have to do is dig out. Oh, that's already dug out. So let's turn this into a danger room area thing. We'll go off of here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just do that. And then some dwarfs will come and they will dig it out. But first we got to do bed, 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 bed. All right, and then we're going to do, there should be, I got this, don't worry. All right, so basically, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a barracks right here, and I'll walk you through the process. Hey, a moment! Don't go anywhere. Don't, no, don't go, no, you stay right there. Okay, while we were away, we got a snatcher who is going to... Snatch a baby. Oh, wait. There's no baby there to snatch. Okay. Ah, I'm running away. Okay. I have sound turned off. Alright. He doesn't have a baby. Let's go to music and sound. Oh, it's turned off, turned off. Barg. Okay. Well, um, give me a second. I'm going to fix that. No, I can't. Poop. Disregard. Uh, I just entertain you with my words. <laughs> uh, see, I can't use sound sense anymore because right? they have copyrighted material and it's crap. Copyright crap. So anyway, like I was saying, um, we're setting this up. Um, we're making some armor stands and whatnot. I got a bunch of people engraving right now. Now let's see if Gas Lover's on the map yet. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, there he is. 
He's in the, the third red win there. Booyah, gas lover. Okay, so everybody's on the map now. That's good. Yep, everybody's on the map now. There you go. Captain Awesome himself. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got our manager over here working. Working on our jobs. J, I'm sorry. J takes you to your job list. And then M for manager. And you can add tasks to it. Like uh, Q is add. And then you're going to say rock throne. And you're like, yeah, that's what I want to make. Make 20 of them. Say booyakisha. And the little red X over here uh, indicates whether or not the manager has validated the task. And once the task has been validated, he will go to a workshop or whatever, and the workshop will start making those items. And I can change priority, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is get back up here to our carpenter, which is right there. Let's see. Our carpenter doesn't have anything to do. Oh, wait, nope, they've been validated. Training spears have been validated. And then the carpenter dude will come make training spears. And we also need to make mechanism. There we go, that should be good. And I should have plenty of those, because what I'm going to make now is called a danger room, which will help me level up my dudes moderately to a degree. This is the, uh, the dining room in its pre-state. Right now you see I have 33 idlers. It's because all my engraving is done here. So let's go like that and just go all the way down here and say, yeah, engrave it. And you'll see they're like, oh, we've got something to do. Now I only have 15 idlers. And the rest of the guys are all taking care of business. Hey, Turbo Wars needs fire opals. He's a dryer. He he canceled that. You're a jeweler, Turbo. Don't be pocketing none of my junk either. All right. Um, you know, this is annoying. So I'm going to restart this. And, uh, oh, Cogsack Illalath, the miller, has given birth to a girl. That is so sweet. Now, I'm going to unpause this. And you see the very next announcement is Cogsack Illalath Miller cancels detail floor, seeking infant. Which means that she was sitting there, chip, 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 chip on the floor, and the baby fell out. So she says, go, I got to stop what I'm doing and find this baby. <laughs> You're a good mother. I'll be right back. Oh my god, that's a million times better. It was like an awkward silence. You know when you're standing at the urinal and it's full. It's like all three are full. And you don't have a choice. You have to walk up to the fourth one, which is right between two big shoulder dudes. And you're standing there and you're like, It's so awkward. Eyes forward. Eyes forward. Shh. Alright. Come on, you can do it. You have to talk yourself into peeing because it's very awkward. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, let's see. We got training spears are being made. Uh, some have been made. And what you do with a danger room. And this is kind of... I don't know the terms for it. But what you do is uh, you go to B, capital T. You see uh, upright spear trap right there, capital S. Basically what you can do is you can take like an upright spear and you can just put it like right here. Where that green X is. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to put several in, in, in the place. And um, and you connect it to a lever. And every time that somebody pulls that lever, the spear will go chink. And then they let go, the flick it in the other end goes chunk. So the chink would be the up and chunk would be the down. Chink, chunk, chink, chunk, like that. So what you do is you put that lever pull on repeat. So the spear is just going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. I'm being all kind of animated here. I know it doesn't do you any good whatsoever. Um, but then you station your military to defend that area and they'll stand there and they'll dodge this spike and they get real good at dodging and then the spike will hit them in the armor and they get real good at armor using and they'll block it with their shield and they get real good at shield using and they block it with a warhammer and they get real good with warhammer using and that's how you train your military the cheap way mm. water is delicious <laughs> ice is muy good in tea as well alright Let's see, what do we have here? We're paused, that's for sure. We're going to undo that.
Look at these guys just rushing around. I got 13. Hmm. D, B, D. Let's get rid of that. Uh, 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 uh. I wonder if this is going to pick up beds. Nope. Doors? Nope. Boom! I should have, like, hardly any idlers now. And they'll take it all upstairs and put it in the dump, which should be right there. Actually, let's do a let's do a K action, which is look. Look at that. <laughs> this is called quantum stacking. <laughs> all this is thrown away in one square. Oh, it's so awesome. And basically, what I'm doing now is I'm just turning off the forbid, which you can do by scrolling through there with a plus or minus, or you can hit DBC. And you see how that little green square right there? And you go like this, boop, boop. I just claimed it all, right? So when this guy over here doing the arts and crafts says I need yada yada, he'll go get yada yada. Now, he's not doing yada yada crap right now, so let's find out why. Uh, what does he have turned on? That's just she, not a he. Quit saying that. Oh, and my fey mood. My fey mood was Solon Desitin. It was a freaking kid. I got a freaking kid with Fey Mood. Did I even show you that? I don't know if I did or not. I don't know if I showed you that. So let's look at it now. They made like a pacifier or some crap. Oh, a marble trumpet. Ooh la la. A marble trumpet. All craft dwarfship is the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of round marble. Cabejon. On the item is image of Stutkos Stursalves, the dwarf in marble. That's, that's great. I don't know how you'd make a freaking marble trumpet but congratulations kid you pulled it off I think I just said a dirty word so if I bleeped that out you'd be like what did he just say what did I miss you missed profanity well, I wouldn't say you missed it but you definitely didn't get to hear it and I hate when I cuss too because then I have to freaking bleep it out and that takes time are you guys working they are working okay all right so um, everybody's doing their thing so Me do you have left, Mo Frida? Are you even doing anything? What's my freaking? What's my Deuteronomy up to? Carpentry. Do I have a carpentry? I do. There you are. What are you doing? Oh, you're hauling stone because you're a goofball. I have one carpenter. You're not allowed to do anything but just carpent. Where'd you go? Boosh. Carry. Alright, go carpent! Look at this guy, he's so slow. You need to be stronger! Be more dwarf like! Okay, we got a couple of tables, a couple of doors, a couple of beds. I need. Hmm. I have four idlers? What are they doing? Oh, they're kids. They're just hanging out. Alright. So we'll put this link to bridge, which is the first one. And we're going to link to that. There we go. I didn't try to link to that one, though. I thought that was pretty cool. Thank God. Okay. So what we got to worry about now that we have 50 plus dwarfs, so you go to Z here, you can see. Our population is 55. Uh, once you break 50, you start getting sieges and attacks and junk. So that's why we have to get that military up and running a slappy, um, which is what we're gonna do right now. B T capital S. Let's see how many we have here. Uh, I got enough. There's one. Okay, and then D and then capital S. And then D, and capital S, and then D. D is done selecting. So I pick one, and then I'm done selecting. And then capital S, select one, and then D, and then capital S, and then select one, and then D. Boom! All right, so now we have that. Then we have five upright spears there. And then we're going to go B, capital T, L for lever. And then we're going to come over here. 
I'm going to put this lever right there just like that and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect that lever to each and every one of those look at them look at them go look at them go they're so awesome do 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 all right second most important thing <laughs> uh, pet passable keep tightly closed you don't want dogs and cats getting in there because they'll get impaled and then people get all depressed and junk and they're like my dog or my duck or my whatever is dead and i'll be like shut up god you're constantly griping about everything all right um we gotta go down here and we gotta make some alcohol because i'm out of booze let's go with b and we'll just repeat that forever okay you're good booyah these guys are working well they're working well look at this look at this right here look ah, meh. it's ironic look at this Boom! Solon Desitin Dwarven Child. That's the uh, that's the artifact kid. He's a dabbling grower, a legendary stone crafter. I can't even freaking use him. He's legendary, and I can't even use her. Sorry, her, her. I'm rolling my eyes. You can't tell. I'm looking at the webcam too, but it's not on. All right. So let's um. Let's finish getting our military set up. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get all of this up and running, and then I'll be right back. All right, we uh, got a human caravan from whatever. And the good news is we're probably going to have some tradable soon. Bad news is nine times out of ten, your caravan shows up with something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a burrow real fast. And the first thing you do with burrow is you open the burrow menu with a W key. Goosh. And you're going to add a new burrow. And you're going to hit add a new burrow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, not that one. D. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Delete it. There you go. Okay. And now we're going to define this burrow by hitting enter. And what you do, basically, is you just go through here and you select the interior of your base. Like that. Thusly. Right? And you go down one more and you select all of this. Because you want your people to be able to travel freely within within the burrow. Like that. Uh, 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 like that. And we go down some more. And this, you can also do this. Like I go up here. I get it rolling. And I go down, down. Like that. And it'll hit that. And you can come up here and you can go all the way over here like this. And then go down, down, down. Like that. And it covers all of that, as you can see. All right. So, the barrow is assigned. We're going to name this one Inside. Inside, just like that. Booyah. All right, next burrow that we're going to make is going to be up here. And it's going to say Add New Burrow. And we're going to call this one... Actually, let's let's assign it first. We're going to... This is, oosh. Just like that. And we're going to call this burrow... Danger Room. Danger room, bagow! And basically, when we tell dwarves to go defend the danger room, that's where they'll go. They'll go in there and they'll like stand at the ready, looking for enemies. When in ac when actuality, I'm just training them not, not to get stabbed by spears. Okay, so that's how we do that. What we're going to do first of all is we got to go into the military screen with M, and you're going to see uh, the letter A right here. It says alerts. You hit that. Civilian are inactive, so we're going to move this down like this and then we're gonna hit enter and civilians are gonna go to inside now watch you see we've got a couple of kids out here playing around by the depot when I unpause the game everybody goes running inside they drop what they're doing and they run inside no matter where they are on the map they'll run inside and then I come down here to the let me pause it to the this room and Pull the lever. Did they? Are they for real? Have they not done that yet? Are you freaking kidding me? I gotta turn off that so they can go do it. Alerts. Are you, I cannot believe these knuckleheads. There he is. He's doing it right now. He's doing it right now. You see him? He's 
take care of business every day. Alright, there goes the farmers. You know what? I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move some goods here. And if they attack, the caravan guards should, should kill them. Should. Okay, that should do it for now. Bagoosh. Unpause. Uh, too many pause buttons. Okay. Burns have arrived and they are... That's good. Here comes all the goods. That's good. Everybody's happy. Ooh, there's a bunch coming. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming. All right, this is good. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It's hot in this room. My air conditioner ain't what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You're picking up what I'm putting down, people. Tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again until my military is about ready to be set up. And then I'll unpause. I'll unpause then. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Um, we're getting ready to set up the military. So I already showed you how the military screen to get to it is M. And then we're going to create a squad, which is C. And we're going to just, whatever, dude. Leather armor is great. And we're going to use the old adage that babies shouldn't fight. So, And since dwarven women carry their babies with them all the freaking time, we're going to use dudes in our army. So, Zaz... Oh, hold a second. Read dwarves. Because things change. All right. He's doing nothing. Does he have any military skills? He's a good dodger. That's that's pretty sweet. And he's a marks dwarf. Ooh. So Zasset as a moon is. I think I think that's Mexican. Um, he's going to be our first recruitee, and he's going to be the man with the plan. So you come over here, shows the vacant highlighted. You come over here, and you hit up, and you start working for bottom because he was in the last. Uh, there he is. He was in the last uh, migration wave. So, and you hit enter. <laughs> Boom! That's how you do it. Now I got one guy in the military. Now let's go back here and we'll find the next dude, which is Uncle Dan. But Uncle Dan wanted to be uh, a hunter and a crossbow maker. Uncle Dan. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Hmm. Let's see. I'm fairly certain Uncle Dan already had a job. There we go. Um, yep. He just wanted to be named Uncle Dan. So Uncle Dan, guess what? You're an army, son. Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan. Where you at? Uncle Dan. There's Grim. Uncle Dan. Cow. Alright, so the next dude is Turbo Wars, but he wants to be a, a Mason, so I'm going to leave him as that. Which leaves me Stodier, who's another one of my hunters, who should be a pretty good Marks Dwarf. Let's see if he has any military. He's a good Dodger, and a good Ambusher, and a good Archer, and a good Marks Dwarf, so yeah. That's pretty awesome. So... Stodier Zolbanes. He's pretty epic. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Stodier. Where you at, Stodier? There you go. Skadoosh. Now, right now, I think I'm just gonna go with five for now. Because that should that should do it. Okay, Stodier. That's a... Uh, Trapper. So Solon sheds the resin. Pheasant. Trapper. All right. So the next person would be that dude. But he's a grower, thresher, flesher, smesher. Some more. With the brewing and the plant gathering and the cheese making, which is a very important skill. This is, um, nobody. What does this guy do? Nothing. What is he? What do you bring to the party? Nothing. Oh my god, you're going in the military. He's unskilled labor. He's the guy who pulls the lever. I pulled the lever. 
Anyway, um... Medtob. Med... Medtob. That's not gonna be hard to remember. Uh... He's the guy licking the wall. Am I missing it? How did I miss it? Oh, of course. Of course. He's a doctor. Oh, he's a diagnostician. Oh, wait. I got a full-blown doc. Ooh, look at that. And it's a girl, too. Because girls make the best doctors. They really do. Diagnoser in the army. In the army, fool! Alright, so let's do, um... Let's activate these puppies. Actually, let's, before we do it, let's set up their schedule. Alright, so that's it for now. Oh, I want to go here. Schedule. Schedule. Oh, S right there. You can see it. It's right there. S. Boop. Alright, so what you're going to do here, um, this month is current is Galena. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in Galena. Right here. And we're going to cancel their order. And then we're going to add an order, which is... And right here you're going to see plus or minus 10 soldiers minimum. We have 5. So we, if we have 10, then they'll just, all 5 of them will just go and stand until, you know, it's crazy. You don't even want, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just like, it says 10, but only there's only 5 in the squad. It will, they still won't start doing anything until the other ones get there. So we're going to defend Burrow, which is enter. And then we're going to defend Danger Room. And then we're going to hit shift enter. So basically, they're going to defend Burrow. And it's, ah, I edited it wrong. All right, O. Oh. Enter. There it is. A danger room. I don't know why that didn't change. Shift enter. It's still that. <laughs> All right, cancel order. Cancel the freaking order and give a new one. Defend Burrows, patrol route, station, train, defend Burrow. Hit enter, go down to danger room and hit enter again. And then hit shift enter. It's still fucking Okay, one more time. Exit your order. Give your order. Defend the burrows. Is that it? No, it's still not it. What am I doing wrong? Oh my god! You don't you don't move the freaking blue when you move the green one. I don't even understand that. What the deuce? Ah, well luckily I don't have to do anything. I can just gonna copy and paste that defend burrows for the next five months in a row. <laughs> They're gonna hate me. <laughs> I'll give them breaks. I'll say stand down every once in a while. Alright, so I don't want them to sleep in the room at well. I want them to sleep in barracks at need. But you hit the S button there, and then we're going to call this a day with shift and done escape. Alright, now we're going to activate these puppies. And we'll do that in the squad screen, which you're like, what? It's all this crap. Hit the S. You see the oceanic boats, which is the crew I just did. And then you hit the T. Boop! Now they're active. And then you have this guy come over here. Anybody, really, because I have so many idlers. And you just go, and you just go A, shift P. And then repeat. And when this, when he gets done linking all those, he'll just sit there and he'll pull that freaking lever all day long. He was like, oh, "I got lever." All right, let's go. Um, let's go do some trading. Is the trader required? The trader's no job. So, trader requested at depot. Let's see what happened. 
Still no job. Oh, she's managing? Still no job. Come on now. Ah. This right here is my lady. Ast Shismugagathesis. What is she doing? I'm following her. Alright, here she comes. Where's she going now? Oh, there she is. She's trading at the Trade Depot. Alright, T for trade. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Uh, can't trade that because it's got these things in it and I need them. Oh my god, I don't have... I have balls all for freaking trade goods. Oh my god, they're like, why did we even come here? I'm like, I don't really know. Sorry. Copper slicing knife? This is ridiculous. I gotta get... I gotta get more goods here. Let's see, what do I have? I guess I could take these cloth bins. They might buy cloth. I don't know. I don't really need it. <laughs> my dwarves don't like... My dwarves like to be naked. <laughs> um, and we'll do small cut gems. Might, might give me something out of that. Let's unpause that. Come on, Dudicus. Bring all that crap up. Oh, Snatcher. Um, you. Snatcher. Hostile. Zoom the creature. Hmm. Why is your trader fishing? Is he hungry? Ha <laughs> ha! What are you doing? Goblin master thief? What'd he steal? I stole your fishes. They all belong to me. Oh no! He got a baby! What a dirtbag. That's why that dwarf was chasing him. We, okay, we lost the baby. Oh, that sucks. Who'd we lose? Three dwarves. Oh, we went down by one. Oh, who lost their baby? Dead or missing. Defend danger room. We lost the baby. That's so sad. Somebody lost their baby. Oh. <sighs> Okay, so everything that's going to be traded is there. Alright, that changes goods a little bit. Let's get rid of that and that and that. I need the rest of this crap. I'll get rid of that and that and that and that. I bought this cloth and honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it other than like make socks. Dwarves are crazy for their socks, man. They love socks. Oh, they're so crazy for socks. All right, we don't want to get rid of the that cloth bin. Actually, we do. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of it. It's all good. Shh, it's okay. Shh. Wait, this has got thread in it and yarn. You can't have this. You're not allowed. You're uninvited! Look at all that thread cloth. Oh, okay, here we go. You can have that one. Oh, my value's going up now. Ooh, gems! And the cloth. And more cloth. And more cloth. And gems. And more cloth. And that's it. Okay, so we come over here. We need we need weapons. So let's get some weapons. Iron toy hammer. That's not going to do me any good. And there's a barrel of some sort. There's a bucket. We can put that on her head. Copper halberd. Let's go with this short sword right here. Um, copper morning star and a great axe, a bronze morning star, bronze scimitar, which is pretty long, great axe, bronze mace. Mm hmm. I'm just buying things now that look like they might be armor. Yep. Armor. Okay, this is good. What? 
tell you what, let's get rid of these fancy large iron, because I can't wear the large. I just realized that. I can't wear anything large. But I could melt it down. <sighs> I don't know. Forget about it. Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I can melt this stuff down. There you go. Let's try that one. Boom! Thank you for your business. Have a good day. All right. Um. Now let's move the rest of this crap away before somebody comes in and steelifies it. And then we'll go downstairs and we will have our dwarves dig out our metal industry, which is going to be one, two, three, four. Oh wait. D for mine. One, two, three, four. Ah! There you go. Alright, so dwarves are going to come dig crap out here in a second. In the meantime, my people should be getting some armor here momentarily. Somebody needs to pull this stinking lever. Where's my stinking mechanic? I'm getting mad. My freaking mechanic. What are you doing, dude? Taking a nap? Detail. F oh, crike I'm unlikey Nike poop. Me and my stupid detail floor. Ay, ay, ay. Let's have a look at our military real fast. Hit M and you can go to their equipment. And right now, so far, you see this little icon right here. This means has done. So these, he's picked out individual melee. So is he. So is he. So is he. And so see, so they all have individual melee, and I can start melting down stuff for uh, for armor. So your, our smiths are about to see some action. So they actually have. They're just standing in this room right now, but they actually have weapons on them. I wonder what they have. Let's look. So V. Let's see what this guy has. Inventory, which is I. He is wielding ooh a bronze warhammer. Nice. A steel warhammer, a bronze mace. Uh, you can see there's stuff over here. He's oh, that's a, that's almost like why is, he doesn't have a weapon? <laughs> because he's not in that. He's not in the army. All right, this guy doesn't have anything, so he's probably just sleeping. He's like, I'm just tired. Leave me alone. Okay, so. Protect it. Ch stick it. What? Snatch it. <sighs> I'm getting angry. There he is. There better not be a baby in this dude's arms. What does he have? Does he have... He's got, he's got two shoes. A sock and a shoe. Sock and a shoe. Always oh, got a right glove and a left glove. That's not a good combination, people. All right, he's got a troll for a bag. Right hand. I wonder what's in the bag. Oh no! No! But there's a baby there. There's a baby there. Oh, there's a baby there. Did they get the baby? Oh my gosh, I don't even have a hospital. Wounds. Oh, her her left upper arm is unconscious. Oh no! Combat report. The goblin match stabs the leather worker in the right upper arm with 
her large iron dagger, chipping the bone and chipping the left shoulder bone through the ground hog leather cloak. The leather worker gives into the pain, falls over, regains consciousness, gives into pain, falls over. <gasps> that was scary. All right. She's unconscious. Somebody should come out and collect her momentarily. I'm sure of it. Or we could let her nap. That's cool. I mean, she's probably tired. She's going to clean self. You know what that means, because she pooed. <laughs> Alright, let's look. Let's look. She's clean self, because she's got poo on her. Alright, um... Uh, preferences. Uh, general. No job. She's dabbling armor user, and a dabbling fighter dodger. Why didn't you kick his butt? Doesn't make a lick of sense. Well, she moved a little bit. Didn't she give into the pain again? Oh, there she goes. She's bleeding all over the place. Hmm. I should probably... I don't even have any beds. This is, this is great. So let's go down here. And I will go... I'll make a zone right here. And I'll just call this a hospital. <laughs> H. Set H. There you go. Alright, so they'll start chalking that full BH. I don't have any boxer bags or containers. That's great. I'm totally prepared. Uh, yeah. There we go. Come on, finish putting this stuff together. You're the slowest mechanic on the face of the world. I think I paid you by the hour. Crap load of editing. Are you done yet? Oh my god, now you're pulling the lever. Now watch. You come up here. His job is to fend danger room. And you will see the spikes right here going up and down, up and down, up and down. This guy's pulling it. I put a lever! And these guys are actually getting better at this, because if you go to your dwarf fortress and swart and swart. i got so many issues. Squad, and you collapse the no-squad guys. Like that, you'll see in the military thing, collapse, collapse! When I do read dwarves, Notice some of these guys are starting to get skills, are getting bigger. Because they're currently actively using these skills. In the danger room! Alright. And that's how you improve your military. Now, DBD. Let's get rid of this. And I'm basically going to set up my metal industry real fast. You know what? I think I'll save that for the next episode. You saw me set up the danger room. You saw me set up the squad. Now you're going to see me set up the metal industry so I can uh, equip these fools. All right, now. Peace out. Word to your mothers.